like everyone please to stand for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? And let us pray. Divine source of all light and truth, be with us as we open this school year. And as we thank you for the blessings of summer, the warm breezes, the long carefree days, the freedom to play, to travel, to rest, to dream, we thank you for time spent with friends and family, with games and books, with climbs and rides and dives, and jumps, we thank you. We thank you for bringing us here together, again as one school, one community, as one Gilman family. And whether for our 56th time, our 12th or 13th time, or for our first time, it is good to be here in the rich blessing of this Gilman family. Bless today in a special way our newest members, that from kindergarten and pre-first, through lower, middle, and upper school, to our new faculty and administrators, may these newest members of our Gilman family always know your love, light, and blessing through us and through our community. And now, may a summer of blessing and refreshment inspire us to a year of hard work, dedication, and excellence. Lead us to new mission and purpose, new integrity and compassion, new zeal and inspiration in the year ahead. Help us to fearlessly learn all that you have to teach us, whether these lessons be found in books, in teachers, in parents, in fellow students, or in ourselves. And more importantly, teach us this year not only to honor and respect, but indeed to love one another, to love as you love, not only our friends and those we find easy to love, but help us to love when love is hard. Build in us a strong community ever mindful that the light, growth, and blessing we find here must be taken out into a world that desperately needs our light, your light, to a world where so many don't enjoy all the blessings that we have. Because in tuo lumine lumen, in your light, we find light itself. Amen? Amen. Everyone else, amen? Amen. A reading from the book of Psalms. Please note that the last line contains Gilman's motto. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. The children of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house when you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light do we see light. Oh, Gilman, oh, Gilman, to you we will be true. Our loyalty and honor are to the gray and blue. You build up our fields, up our hearts and spirits too. We're forging ahead and reaching far beyond. With Gilman our strength and 
2014-15 school year and a special welcome to new students and new teachers new families who are with us at Gilman and to those of you who are seasoned veterans have been around please reach out and make the newcomers feel as welcome as you've been made in your time here and a, a, a particular welcome to the gentleman behind me the senior class of 2015 guys it's it's i know i welcomed you on wednesday it's it's fantastic to have you here behind me thanks for escorting the little guys in and uh, we're looking forward to a fantastic year from these seniors guys please give these guys the seniors a round also want to congratulate i know Things have gotten underway. The soccer team, the varsity soccer team, had a great season opening win yesterday against Boys Latin. I know that the football team heads off to Cleveland for their opening game. On Sunday, water polo is playing this weekend, and volleyball and cross country will get underway soon. So congratulations to the soccer team. Best of luck to those other teams as the fall season gets underway. Michael read a passage from a, a book that I finished about a week ago that's that's left a, a powerful imprint in my mind and i wanted to share some some thoughts with you about that book it's called the boys in the boat and it's by daniel james brown and it tells the story of the university of washington crew team for those of you who don't know crew is the sport where where people in this case eight rowers get in a, a very thin racing shell and row um, for anywhere from two, two miles to four miles in a race against other boats. It's called crew. The, the rowers in the boat make up the crew. The setting, and I'll read the passage again in a second, but the setting for the book is 1936, and the setting for the particular passage that Michael read is 1936. The University of, of Washington varsity crew had just won the national championship, the collegiate national championship in crew, and then they'd gone on to qualify for the Olympic Games in Berlin for 1936. So they were going to represent the United States in crew in Berlin in 36. And the team, and Joe Rance, who was the main character in the story, a man named Joe Rance, who was a senior, a rising senior at Washington, were in New York getting ready to sail for Europe to participate in the Olympics. And a couple other, uh, uh, other things I need to point out before I get to the quote. First about crew. A lot of us don't follow crew now. I know some of us participate in it. It's a great sport, but it's not as popular as it once was. It, at the time, in, in the early 30s, 1936, it was one of the most popular sports, collegiate sports in the United States. And thousands of people would show up to watch the races. People would listen to the races on the radio. So when the University of Washington won the national championship, which, is, which took place on the Hudson River in New York, people across the country were tuned into their radios to hear the race. So it was a very popular sport. Another thing to point out about crew is that the success of the boat 
depends on two things, and, and I'm, not a, I'm not a crew person, so I hope I'm getting this somewhat close. Two things it seems like are really important for the success of the boat. One is the pull of the individual, of each individual within the boat. Graham, am I getting this right so far? Okay, nice. Um, so the, the pull of the individual, and then two, that all of the individuals are working in perfect harmony with each other as they pull. And when those, those two things happen, when the individual is at his best or her best, and when they are working in harmony, the boat meets success. Two other important points. You know a little bit, you know about as much about crew as I do now. And two other important points. 1936, Europe and the rest of the world were on the brink of World War II. And the United States was in the thick of the Great Depression. Times were tough in the 30s across the world. So as Joe Rance looked out in New York City, out over the New York City Harbor, and out at the Statue of Liberty, he came to the realization that led to the passage that Michael read. Let me read it again. They, meaning the crew from the University of Washington, were now representatives of something much larger than themselves, a way of life, a shared set of values. Liberty was perhaps the most fundamental of those values. But the things that held them together, trust in each other, mutual respect, humility, fair play, watching out for one another, those were also part of what America meant to all of them. And right along with the passion for liberty, those were the things that they were about to take to Berlin and lay before the world when they took to the water at Grenau. So Joe Rance realized that with the threat of war in Europe, the idea that liberty was really in danger across the globe. People's liberties were being taken away. People's lives were being taken. The United States Olympic team and the Washington crew represented more than just a group of athletes. Joe and his boys in the boat from the United States represented that liberty that was under siege. And just as important, Joe and his crew represented some additional values. Trust in each other, watching out for one another, mutual respect, humility, fair play. So these elements that made for a successful crew were exactly those things that made for a free and peaceful world. The strengths, gifts, and effort of the individual as represented by liberty, and the need to fit those strengths, gifts, and effort within a larger group purpose. That translates beautifully to life at Gilman. So what Joe Rant described while looking out over the New York Harbor and at the Statue of Liberty, it fits so well with our hopes and our aspirations for life at Gilman. In that passage, he captured the American ideal of succeeding at two somewhat different things at the same time. On one hand, celebrating independence that comes with liberty, and on the other, recognizing the dependence we have on a larger group, on each other. At Gilman, we promote and celebrate liberty by encouraging you to be yourself. We want you, as individuals, to be able to think for yourself to express yourself, to make decisions and choices on your own. We also want you to embrace those things that hold us together as part of the Gilman community. We want you to understand what it means to work together, to get along, to be a good classmate, teammate, and friend, to live by the Gilman Five, and to use an expression that, that more seasoned Gilman veterans have, have used from time to time to be Gilman, to embrace those things that I've just described. So the simultaneous, in other words, at the same time practice of these two ideals, being oneself while upholding group or community values, represents the best of what Gilman, just like the United States, has to offer. 
So gentlemen, as we look ahead to the school year, I urge all of us to use our individual talents to seek those things that are much larger than ourselves, those values that make our nation and our school so great. Guys, be yourself. Be your best selves. At the same time, embrace each other and our community values. Understand that being at Gilman, like being a part of Joe Rance's gold medal winning boat, demands your best individual effort as well as our best group effort. Gentlemen, welcome to the school year. It is fantastic to see everyone here. Let's have a great year. Go Hounds. reflections and instruments of your peace, your hope, your joy, and your love. That where there is hatred, we may sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, harmony. Where there is error, truth. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light and where there is sadness, joy. O divine teacher, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we find life. Lead us this year to life, and light, and hope, and promise in your name. Amen? 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 Amen?